I think today's event is very important. Huge numbers of people, way over 100 villagers, turned up to mark and celebrate the reopening of the Long Crendon Community Library as a community library on the basis that it will need to be strongly supported in its running by volunteers. However, I think it's important in another respect, and that is that it's a gentle reminder to people who've turned out today to say, isn't this great, that they must then use the library if it's going to be a sustainable resource for the future. It flags up just how valued and significant libraries are in the life of a local community. And to my mind, it's great to have volunteers involved, but a library can't end up becoming a charity. A library is a public service on which a community depends. And I hope that it will be a secure facility here and elsewhere for not just decades, but generations to come. To be fair, if you put yourself in the position of the County Council, they are faced with depleted resources and huge demands, and they think they've got to make savings somewhere. I am simply making the point that as a constituency member of Parliament, I've had loads of letters from people who feel very strongly that public libraries are part of the DNA of a civilised community. And frankly, I share that view. And can you change the way they operate? Yes. Can you think imaginatively? Yes. Can you involve volunteers? Yes. And all of those things Long Crendon will do. But we don't want to end up, or I certainly don't want to end up, with a situation in which a library becomes, as I say, a charity. It isn't. It's a public service. It's absolutely vital to encouraging people to read, introducing people to the sheer excitement and the feel of books. And libraries are particularly important to some of the most vulnerable people in our community. And I know from my own personal family experience that the library matters to the quality of life, not least of an older person. And we cannot lose sight of that. We cannot end up with a situation in which we simply say to a community, sink or swim. If you can make it run, fine. But the County Council accepts no responsibility. The County Council here in Buckinghamshire is offering some funding short term, but my own view is that there should be sustained funding in the medium and long term as well. That may not make me very popular with the County Council, but it happens to be my view. It looks as though we're going to be able to sustain the facility here in Long Crendon, but of course, as Margaret York said at the opening today, quite a lot of local libraries have been lost it's good news here, but it's been bad news in many places. And if there are people in the county council bureaucracy who think, ah, let's see if we can make further savings here, cut back, gradually dismember the service and hope that people will acclimatise themselves to it, I think they should abandon that idea. People care about their libraries. And I repeat this point, they are vital to the DNA of a civilised and enlightened community and I want them to stay. And if that means that the County Council has got to find other ways to save money, well then frankly let them find other ways to save money. Closing libraries or slashing the services they provide is a deeply unpopular thing to do and I feel sure that the representatives of the County Council have been left in no doubt on that score.